Yes, quickly, before I lose my job right now. <laughs> Alright, so each of your characters has a job on the show. Mechanic, politician... Do you want me to get that for you? Piper <laughs> pilot. Uh, and some of you got to try out other jobs. Is there any job that you would like to try out in, in the realm of the show that you haven't got to play out that you just think would be fun to try for like a day or something? I want to be a Viper pilot. I, I really do. <laughs> Honestly, I, every chance I get, I try to slip into one of those Vipers in the hangar, you know? Uh, yeah. I want the job of washing um, James Callis' acolytes. <laughs> Someone's better do it. I'd like to interview his interns. Someone's better do it. Um, uh, I, I got to fly with the Blue Angels uh, not so long ago, and uh, I actually did get into an F-18 and did break the sound barrier and did pull seven and a half Gs, and uh, I was blown away by the whole thing and by the pilots, and so I'd have to agree with Richard. I'd be uh, right behind him in the cockpit. You know, it's really funny, uh, as, as actors, you know, we, we make choices based on trying to find wonderful roles and, uh, you know, doing something that has meaning, but I remember getting the first script of Battlestar, and honestly, the minute they, I was turning it down saying, no, 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 is it, what, what's it, what it's going to be about, and they kept... <laughs> They kept telling me all these stories that, you know, it was going to be all this and all that, but it sounded like a bunch of running around and shooting. But honestly, until I saw the Ralph McQuarrie art and saw these ships flying halter skeleton into the universe, then all of a sudden all the art goes out the window, you know? You just want to be that kid, you know, in that biker shooting a thousand miles a minute. So I essentially, I agreed to do the show because of that. But fortunately, uh, Battlestar has evolved over the years to finally get into the the drama that this really show is about. I mean, I love the original Battlestar Galactica for the backstory, but this show, 25 years later, finally has the courage to go into the depths of what the true Battlestar Galactica story is about. And so for me, as an actor, this has really turned out to be far more fulfilling than even playing the Captain Apollo role 25 years ago. I much prefer playing Tom Zarek on this show, even though I love the original show, and I truly love being part of that experience. Say about uh, six months ago, I've never seen Bowser Galactic in my life. Ever. I'd heard about it. Hey, hold on. I had a friend. <laughs> had a friend let me watch the season one DVDs, and they were phenomenal. I just got season two and just two point five. Just kept on going. So first, of all, I just want to say you guys have done an amazing job taking that story and developing it. To look at the fans. I mean, you can't get much better. I don't care what numbers say. We have this kind of turnout for a panel. I mean, just congrats to all you guys. You did such a good job. said that after this pretty much he's going to kind of put Battlestar kind of behind him a little bit and move forward. If they do come back with a season five after four is over, if it may ever does happen, would you sign back on? And if not, what are your <laughs> <laughs> And if not, what are your future projects? I mean, do you have anything lined up? Are you going to continue on doing something else? Or is it just going to be, well, we'll just wait and see what happens with this? That's our thing right there. <laughs> Well, I think I killed all my employment prospects. In I didn't mean any of that, by the way. Um, you know, I, this is an amazing show. If, if, if they make, uh, if they choose to make spin-off movies or whatever, um, we are, you know, it depends on the scripts. It depends on what kind of what they're trying to aim for. If they're just trying to milk the product dry, then I think we're better off to walk away and, and never touch it again. If, if, if Ron is involved and you know Eddie's involved and uh, it, it's the show that we love, uh, then. You never say never. Um, and as for future stuff, uh, we don't finish shooting until March of 08. I can't really see beyond that yet. By the way, you know, it's, uh, it's amazing that now science fiction has kind of finally broke through that wall and where sci-fi actors tended to have trouble getting work after a sci-fi show was over. Um, this particular show, I think if anybody watches it, 
The, the writing, the acting, the performances are so incredible. I don't think any of these actors are going to have trouble getting a job. But I like all of you. I'm a huge fan of the story, and I hope to God that if they do continue it, they continue with the quality that they have done so far, and that these actors are available. Because most likely, if they wait a year, these guys are all going to be working on other shows. And be kind of sad not to be able to go on with this original cast, but um, that's the way the business works, unfortunately. I did a movie on hiatus called Blood, The Butcher's Tale, which is uh, I mean, really I did, <laughs> which is uh, all green screen, so it's going to have a, a, a comic book sort of 300 Sin City kind of look to it, uh, and I think that's premiering at Sundance. And uh, I just started as a new character on a TV show called Reaper. The new show we'll see <laughs> So uh, the battle star goes away, then hopefully I'll be doing Reaper for the next couple of years. Cool. So watch Sorry. Reaper. <laughs> <laughs> and blood. Hi. Hi. <laughs> well, I'm a young woman, so unsurprisingly, I have a Lee and Kara related question. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if when uh, Lee and Kara had their final chat, as it turned out to be, how uh, Lee felt afterwards, did he feel guilty about it? There's been a lot of debate on whether or not Lee kind of sent her to her death as she was kind of suicidal and, and things like that. So I was wondering if he could maybe shed some light on that. Did, did he feel guilty? Yeah, like, yeah, yes, absolutely, sure. absolutely. He, I mean, as far as he's concerned, he sent her packing to her death and he should have uh, grounded her. He thought he was trying to do the right thing for her, but he, he killed her. Um, and yeah, no, absolutely, he feels complete 100% guilt. Um, he, did the wrong, he did the wrong thing. She's actually a lot of citizens now. My question has almost already been answered. Um, I was going to ask about what your future plans are. Um, however, I also wonder if you all feel fear being pigeonholed into sci-fi roles. No. Like, like uh, Richard yeah, just said. Richard just said yeah. Richard, yeah, what Richard just said, it's, uh, this, this show has broken through and the people that I meet uh, that are not traditional sci-fi fans, that are heads of networks and executives and producers and directors that absolutely love the show, love the work, and for them they see the work and the writing, and uh, I believe that they will take us on, at least I hope so. Thank you.